Welcome to World History with Mr. McCall. Today what we're doing is we're actually going to try to describe the location and the physical setting of Mesopotamia and I thought what better way than to take a field trip to Mesopotamia. So of course this is international travel so you gotta have your passport. You have your passport right? No? That's right. That's okay. Here's what we'll do. We won't actually touch down. If we don't touch down, then we won't have to show our passport. We'll be all right. So I think we recognize where we are now. Let's go ahead and get to Mesopotamia. All right, so we're leaving New York City. We're traveling very quickly up into space. We now see the North American continent, and we now are way above the earth. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and orient ourselves and we are actually going to go to Mesopotamia. Not the one in Ohio, the actual Mesopotamia. So if we look over here we see Africa, we see Saudi Arabia right here, and we see India over here which we will be studying soon. And right up here we see the Fertile Crescent and Mesopotamia. So we're, that's actually where we're going to go. So let's click here. And they'll take us there for us. Hold on. Tight. Here we go. All right. So here we have Mesopotamia. Now we've got the Tigris River right up here. And we've got the Euphrates River right down here. Let's go a little bit closer. So we see right here, this is the... Tigris, because that's on top on most maps, and the Euphrates, which is down here. This is actually a, a reservoir that they've created. And then as we go down, we see a little bit of a, a change in the color. We have a lot of desert around here, so it's a light tan color. And then right in here, it's a little bit darker. And the reason it's darker is because that's more water, and there's more vegetation there. So Mesopotamia is still... A little bit greener than the area around it. And then over here we see where the two rivers empty into the sea. We have a delta here and a delta here. Well, that was a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and start our lesson. That was a nice quick trip. So the goal today was describe the location and physical setting of Mesopotamia, including the Tigris and Euphrates river systems. So Mesopotamia essentially means the land between two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. Uh, it's an area that has fertile soil and uh, it has the potential for a lot of floods because the Tigris and the Euphrates are not calm, predictable rivers like the Nile. They have sometimes some very violent floods. So one of the problems that they ran into is a lot of people lived in these mountains around Mesopotamia and they didn't have enough food. So what they did is they went to the fertile lands of Mesopotamia and then they ran into the problem of floods. They couldn't control the water. It was just flooding all the time. It was good to have water, good to have fertile soil, but they had too much water flooding. So they had to build levees. They built levees and irrigation systems, but then they had trouble building and maintaining irrigation systems. It was a lot of work to build them and then somebody wouldn't take care of their portion of the irrigation system and it would get filled with silt and the irrigation system would be clogged for everybody. So they, they start to, to build their city-states here in Sumer, this yellow portion of the map. And those city-states are building and maintaining irrigation systems. Now, things start to go well, and what do they realize? Well, Mesopotamia is a floodplain, meaning it is flat, and it's easy to travel across. Well, Kish, Nippur, Aruk, Larsa, Ur, Uma, Lagash all start to see a lot of success, and then they start getting attacks from neighbors. Neighbors see that they're doing well, and they want to take what they have. So these are some of the problems based off of the land of Mesopotamia that uh, the Sumerians had to deal with. So that's the lesson that I had today. Uh, we've 
got just a little bit of time. Let's see if we can get us back to where we started. So let's go back out. Let's go to... All right, hold on. Here we go. We are back. Now we want to land exactly where we started, so let's go right here. Zoom in a little bit more. We're almost there. Almost there. It, it feels like we could touch it. And we're back. Here we are. All right. That was World History with Mr. McCall. I hope it was edifying. Take care.